Okay, so we're looking at the 2018 exam. We're doing question 5. So they give us the matrix A and ask us how do we know that A is diagonalizable using an orthogonal matrix. Of course, that's because it's symmetric. Okay, so symmetric, of course, means that A equals its transpose. So how do we know it's diagonalizable? Because A equals A transpose. Okay, show that those three things are eigenvectors of A. So you've got to multiply A by each of those vectors. So if you do a times minus 1, 1, 0, you get, um, what, okay, minus 1 plus 2, then 2, 1, 2, then minus 2 plus 1, and then minus 2 plus 2, which equals, what, um, 1 minus 1, 0, which is minus 1 times minus 1, 1, 0. So that's an eigen vector with eigenvalue minus 1. If you do a times the next vector, minus 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 2, what you get? So it's, what's it, it's always, so you get 1, 2, 2 times that, so you get minus 1, minus 1, plus 4, 2, 1, 2, so that's minus 2, minus 1, plus 4, and then 2, 2, 1, that's minus 2, minus 2, plus 2, okay, so that all comes to minus 2 plus 4 is 2. Don't make a mistake in the second line, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, minus 2, two one two by minus 1, minus 1, 2 gives you minus 2, minus 1, plus 4, that's 1. This isn't good. Well, that last line is going to give us minus 2. So maybe stick in the first line then. One two two should one two two by minus one minus one two that should give us minus one minus two plus four. Oh minus one minus two plus four and that is one and so this thing is again minus one times the original. So it's another eigenvector with eigenvalue minus one. And finally, we need to do A times that third one, which is 1, 1, 1. Okay. So A times 1, 1, 1, you're going to get 1, 2, 2 by 1, 1, 1. Oh, so you get 5. You just get 5, 5, 5. Yeah. Okay. 5, 5, 5. So that's 5 times 1, 1, 1. So that's an eigenvector, the eigenvalue 5. Okay. Are the vectors, are those vectors orthogonal? Um... Okay, so if I do the inner products of the first two with each other, I get 1 minus 1 which equals 0. So those two are, those two are orthogonal to each other. And then I do the first one with the third one. Yeah, you get minus 1 plus 1, which is 0. So those two are also orthogonal. And... If I do the second one with the third one, I get minus 1, minus 1, plus 2, which is 0. So those are also orthogonal. So those, those vectors are orthogonal. Hmm. Orthogonal, orthogonal, orthogonal. So they're all orthogonal to each other. Uh, D. Write down an orthogonal matrix Q such that Q transpose Q is a diagonal matrix D. Is a Q transpose Q is a diagonal matrix D and give D. Okay. So the columns of Q are going to be, sorry, the columns of Q are going to be these three vectors. But then I'm going to have to scale each by a norm by its norm. 
to make it make each vector normal. Because an orthogonal matrix is a vector with orthonormal columns. So if we said the first one is like that, the second one was minus one, one, two, and the third one was one, one, one. Now I need to scale each by its norm. So the norm of the first one is root two. The second one we have root six. No, yeah, root six. Third one we have root three. Okay, so that's Q. And what is D? D would then just be have the eigenvalues on the diagonals. The eigenvalues were, mm. what were the eigenvalues? I think they were minus one, minus one, and five. Yes. Minus one, minus one, and five. Okay. So that's, that's D done, yes. And now question E. Consider the surface with this equation. Use the substitution x equals qx to rewrite this in standard form with new variables x, y, z, and identify the surface using the table. Okay, so this equation is going to be, so there's no, I notice there's no x terms, y terms, or z terms. It's just terms with, just the square terms and the cross terms. So it, the equation will be something like x transpose a x equals, oh, was it on the right? Was it 0 or what on the right? Equals, no, equals 10, okay. So that's the equation, what, where A is um, probably the matrix we just diagonalized, but let's just check. So we have x, y, z, those are all squared. So we have on the diagonal, we have 1, 1, 1. And then the cross terms are 4, 4, and 4. OK, so then it's just going to be the rest is going to be 2s. Twos. 2s. Twos. OK, which is the matrix for A, which is the matrix we just diagonalized. Orthogonally diagonalized, right? 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. One's the diagonal, 2 is elsewhere. Yes. Okay. So this is the equation then. Um, but we need to use the substitution x equals qx. Okay. So if x equals qx, or if little x equals q, big qx, then the equation becomes qx transpose a Q big X equals 10. Okay, that's the same as X transpose Q transpose A Q X equals 10. And that's the same as X transpose D X equals 10. Okay, but D was minus 1, minus 1, 5. So this becomes minus X squared minus Y squared plus 5 z squared equals 10. Okay. Now I think it's more usual to have just one to just have just one negative variable if on that table. So I'm going to change this to be like that. Okay. Now I need to look it up on this look it up on that table. So let's find that table. Oh, not that. That's the textbook. You can't look at that. So we had I've forgotten what we had. Oh, we had two positive terms, one negative term. Okay. All squared with a negative constant on the right. So where is that? Okay. No, 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 that's a zero. We, if you took this over, you'd have a zero on the right. Maybe, no, positive. Maybe, yes, this one. No. Yeah, so it's this one. So it's what we have is a hyperboloid of two sheets. Uh, this direction is usually, I think on this table, it's always the z direction. Um, oh, you won't have this there, because I just drew that now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that direction is always the z direction, but I can just check that by looking. Here it says, when z is a constant, then the cross-section is an ellipse. So yes, when z is constant, you're cutting like this, so you're getting the ellipse. So what we have is a hyperbola of two sheets, looks like an ellipse, so you look down the z-axis. Okay, let's just check that's what we have. What are we doing? Uh, this one. Yes. Yeah, I put two sheets. Okay. Um, what did it actually want us to do? Did it actually want us to sketch it or describe it or what? Identify the surface. Okay, so I have to two sheets. Um, hyperboloid of two sheets. Um, 
and the sheets are reflected across the big X, big Y plane, reflected across big X, big Y plane. Um, and that what is that big X, big Y plane? Is that's the plane spanned by the first two eigenvectors, so plane plane generated by one of the dragon, first dragon vectors, they were minus one, one, zero, and minus, minus, minus one, minus one, two. Minus one, one, zero. Minus one, one, zero. Minus one, minus one, two. Right? Okay. That's what the plane is. Uh, That's all we need to say, really. Oh, um, actually, because there's the X and Y have the same thing underneath them, you know, not divided by different things, it's hyperbola of two sheets, which has got like a circular cross-section, actually. Because it's, it's not elliptical, because these, it would be elliptical if like you had a two under here and a one under there, say. But it's the same under both, so it's actually circular. Circular cross section uh, when, oops, when uh, in circular cross section, yeah, with circular cross section, when you cut parallel to that plane, you get a circular cross section parallel to x, y plane. Okay. Um, that's, that's it, I think, for this question. Yes. Okay.